You have learned that the concentration of a solution is found by dividing the number of moles in the solution by the volume of the solution measured in litres. So the concentration of a solution can be calculated using this formula. C is equal to number of moles divided by volume. This formula is very important when it comes to making dilutions of solutions. In other words, making solutions that have lower concentrations. Making dilute solutions is done in many chemistry laboratories around the world, very often by laboratory assistants as well as chemistry teachers. Imagine that we had some 5 moles per litre or 5 molar hydrochloric acid and we wanted to make a new dilute 250 milliliter solution with a concentration of 0.5 moles per litre. Our formula of C equals N divided by V tells us the number of moles of acid that we need in this solution would be CV. In this example, that would be 0 0.5 times 250 divided by 1000. In other words, 0 0.125 moles. Notice that we divide the number of millilitres by 1000 to convert the volume to litres. This tells us the number of moles we need to get from the 5 molar, 5 moles per litre bottle, to make the new dilute solution. We know the number of moles we need. We know the concentration of the original hydrochloric acid. So we can calculate the volume of acid needed to take from the reagent bottle. The volume in litres is equal to the number of moles divided by the concentration. In this example, it would be 0 0.125 divided by 5. In other words, 0 0.025 litres. If we were going to use a pipette to draw out the acid, we would probably convert that to millilitres. In other words, 25 millilitres. So the 25 millilitres is taken out of the 5 moles per litre solution and added to a volumetric flask. When added to the flask, the tip of the pipette is touched against the side of the volumetric flask to add the exact amount of acid to the flask. There is always a very small volume of liquid that remains in the pipette that should be allowed to stay there. Otherwise, the solution is very slightly more concentrated than it should be. Distilled water, absolutely pure water is added to the volumetric flask to make it up to 250 millilitres, the volume that is required. The added water is adjusted to reach the scratch on the flask with the bottom of the meniscus in line with that scratch. The key to understanding dilutions is to be mindful of the number of moles of the substance being diluted. Look at the number of moles in the pipette. Look at the number of moles in the flask. Note that the same number of moles is in the diluted solution. Given that the number of moles in the pipette is N1, which is equal to C1 times V1, and for the second diluted solution, the number of moles is N2, and that's equal to C2 times V2. It means that C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2. So let's have a look at an example that's very much like those in your workbook. What volume of water would have to be added to 250 millilitres of a 5 molar sodium hydroxide solution to make it a 2 molar solution. List the things that you know. C1 is 5, 
V1 is 200, C2 is 2. Note the component of the formula that you don't know. Here it is V2. Note also this is not the answer because the question asks for how much water has to be added. What it does tell us is the final volume of the solution. Listing the things that we know points us in the direction of the answer that we are after. So we can say C1V1 is equal to C2V2. In other words, 5 times 200 is equal to 2 times V2. So V2 ends up being 500 millilitres. Therefore, the volume that has to be added to the 200 millilitres that we started with is 500 minus 200, 300 millilitres. Notice how the volume in this question was left in millilitres. This is okay so long as both V1 and V2 use millilitres. However, whenever we use the formula, concentration is equal to moles divided by volume, litres must always be used. So the key things to remember in dilution problems are the formula C1V1 equals C2V2, to list the values in the formula that you know, do the calculation of the unknown, Check to see if this is the answer to the question asked or if any further calculations are required.